Hey everybody, welcome back to our Nuxt full stack web development series. In the last video, we talked about inserting our own style sheet along with changing the tab title. And in today's video, we are going to be actually adding a new library called Tailwind CSS. For those of you who don't know what Tailwind is, it's a great framework, a utility framework for writing CSS quickly. And it will allow us to get a lot more control without having to do as much in our style sheet. Obviously we can still use our style sheet, but we are going to be installing Tailwind. This will also give you a good idea of implementing node modules into your projects. So let's start off by closing our web server. If it's running, just press control C and we are now going to do NPM install Tailwind CSS and then Tailwind CSS slash Vite because Vite is the default bundler for Nux.js. So just press enter and it will install. Now we need to go to our Nux config and in our Nux config, we need to add a new field called Vite and this will be our Vite config. So within here, we can do curly brackets and inside we can add a new field called plugins. Now this is going to be all of the Vite plugins that we're injecting and we're injecting Tailwind CSS. We have Tailwind CSS injected. However, we're not using it just yet. If you look at our site, you'll notice it still looks pretty vanilla and that's because we need to go into our main.css and at the very top, let's just import, uh, at import Tailwind CSS like so. And now let's run our page and if we view it, uh, just give it a second to start up. You'll see that we now have our Tailwind CSS. So if we go to our hello world and let's say we give it a text 4XL and a font black, you can see those pages changing live. So very nice. Now we have hello world and also we have Tailwind added, which is very exciting. We can kind of get rid of this at least. You can do at apply and then BG black as well if we want to be using utility classes inside of here and you can get it displaying like so. Our text is not white. So let's do a text white like that and boom, there we go. Very cool. We have Tailwind CSS added now and we can now utilize that to our advantage. That's going to be it for today's episode. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for more.